MSNBC. Women may have come a long way in business, but they still have a long way to go. And let's talk about the media. A new report finds women did make gains running local TV newsrooms, reaching 30% for the first time. At top newspapers, men dominated front page bylines during last year's presidential election coverage, three to one. And women make up just 9% of top grossing movie directors. Joining me to talk about all that and tomorrow night's Women's Media Awards, actress Lily Tomlin, host of the event, and Robin Morgan, co-founder of the Women's Media Center. It's great to have both of you Thanks, here. Really. Robin, here. Let, let me start, because as I'm looking at these numbers, they seem like good news. Let's say, you know, it is a rise, but it's it's still 30% of women as news directors. Where are we now with women in media? Not enough. Um, every year, the Women's Media Center, um, people can get it at womensmediacenter.com, publishes status of women in the media, and it could curl your hair. I mean, it really, um, you know, on the Sunday morning talk shows, the pundits, we're less than 25%. Here's the amazing thing. Even on subjects which directly pertain to women, um, reproductive rights, e equal pay, um, you know, you know, really hardcore, men are consulted more often than women. Three to one men, male bylines on, on uh, newspaper articles. And if, when you move even higher up in the food chain, women disappear. It's like a handful of pale males controlling our media. So the aim of the Women's Media Center is to make women visible and powerful in media, not only because it's good for women and it's fair, but also it's good for men, it's good for journalism, it's good for democracy. Lily, what made you want to be a part of this? Well, for all these same reasons. I mean, it's uh, anytime you know, know a group or know of a group that's really making impact and making strides uh, effectively this, this way, you just want to be a part of it. You want to lend something to it if you're able to. And I, the programs that Women's Media Center uh, uh, provides are, are kind of amazing. They have SheSource, so that all kinds of women who are top authorities in every possible area uh, are available and there you know where you can find them because so often in the media they would say well we don't uh, we there are no women who know about atomic energy or something like that and and we train women you know um, in media skills um, and we do media monitoring for sexism and racism uh, on air um, we've, we've even wrestled some apologies from certain are we anchors. getting any better in that area we're getting a little bit better I mean Chris Matthews it apologized really is a, a push uphill though it is a push up a lot hill. of these things I, you you, weren't you, I mean, you when you did stand-up way back in the day, um, you were one of the few women who were doing that. And you've played roles. I, I, I saw you in admission just this year where you played um, the mom of Tina Fey. Right. And you were kind of this, like, crazy uh, uh, hippie woman. But an Im important sort but I, but of I'd message been a notable there feminist. when you had been a very notable feminist. She trailblazed for women in comedy. I mean, people didn't do characters. Well, you, you've done it both sides. You've done it in real life. You've done it on the screen. I was just saying about the, the West Wing. You talk back to the president. I more did, than a I few did. times. So, <laughs> from a very personal perspective, what does this mean to you? Uh, well, it's uh, it's just to make the it's to make the country, the world better. Ultimately, just because we have a more democratic, egalitarian, fully formed human existence on the planet. You and know, we're, we're the majority of people in this country, women, and so to have less of a voice in media, media reflects and it also defines reality so if women are not in an equal place there what then is reality she has guested on the radio show we've got a radio show now women's media center live which I which host. Right, yeah, right, I'm a pretend you and I host it um, and it's on CBS but it's also better even yet worldwide on the web at wmclive.com and I've had her as a guest I've had uh, Christiana Manpour who's one of the awardees amazing Tomorrow people night, and yeah, they, they 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 talk about things that they don't get to talk about anywhere else. Another awardee, by the way, who has been a guest is your own Maria Teresa, Teresa Kumar, Kumar. Who's, who's often on this show and who yeah. is, is terrific. What do you think these kinds of awards, I'm sure you've got a million awards, you probably have boxes in your act somewhere, but why are awards, do you think, in a situation like this important? Do, do they matter? I think uh, I think it matters in terms of public opinion, influence, just uh, the essence of what's in the zeitgeist. And when you see people like Christiane receiving an award, 
award tomorrow night. Uh, she's greatly admired. She's certainly plenty smart and has done a lot of extraordinary things. It's a Lifetime Achievement Award in her case. What, what's it going to take to move to the next level, though? I, I, I said so, I was talking earlier in, uh, to somebody, and I said, uh, you know, it took 20 years just to get people to wear seat belts. <laughs> so it takes. It takes time. This is a whole cultural thing. I mean, we've lived with this for eons, uh, and some people live with it in other countries in a far deeper, more rigid and tragic uh, equation. I'll tell you this. Um, it's moving faster because of the technology and communications. Um, and it took 100 years for women to get the vote. And I think we're about halfway through the 50-year 50, 50 mark of this wave of feminism. But what's better now is the technology, is the communications, is people like you and the women who run this show, is, um, you know, is also that more men are seeing finally that it's in their self-interest as well. Not all men, some are dinosaurs, but, but so it is moving, it's just not fast enough, and we're, we're in there making it move well, faster. My, when I was, uh, when I, in my early uh, years, uh, in the early uh, years of, of this wave of feminism, I mean, how, do you remember where you were the last time it was pronounced dead? I mean, <laughs> the time after time after time, but... Isn't it dead? My, no. Not dead, not and, dead the, yet. Part, the thing that moved my heart the most, and I even, we had it in the search even, is I used to say at gatherings and rallies, and I say, this is about moving the whole species forward, not just half of it. Yeah. And I felt that so deeply in my heart that uh, that's really what kept me pursuing it. I did think it was just vastly meaningful to all of us. And well, I, good luck tomorrow. Uh, We're out of time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be uh, encroaching on the next show. But right. Lily Tomlin, great to have you here. Robin, we always love having Thank you. you. Thank I you, Robin you. Morgan. Thank you, at Chris. That's going to wrap up this hour of Jansing and Company. I'm Chris Jansing. Thomas Roberts is up next. Check it out. I can't